Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again to do another video. And today I have for you an unboxing, but it's more like a do-over unboxing because I've already unboxed this item in front of you before, albeit somewhat unsuccessfully. And if you haven't guessed already, yes, it is the black pillow tabby. But this time I ordered two of them. And I'm hoping that I have better results than I did on take one. One of you lovely viewers asked me if I had ever ordered multiples before to ensure that I would get a good product. And the answer to that is yes, I have done that before. But lately it's been such a pain in the butt to return items to coach that I have stopped doing that. And when you do get items from the outlet, it isn't well, it didn't used to be as easy to return items because I would have to pay for return shipping since I don't live close to an outlet. I believe now that has changed. I think now they will send you a return label so that you can send something back for free. It has always been the case in my experience that they will pay to ship a return back to them if the item is defective. So let's open this up because I'm dying to know, is this gonna be good or not? One, two, we're starting off on the right foot. I have two factory wrapped bags. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open the first one. I'm gonna put on my glasses so I can see it perfectly. And I'm gonna cross my fingers. My heart is beating so fast. I'm gonna try to look at the front of it first. So I have the front, it's this way. I'm gonna open it up and see. Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, so it's definitely better than the other one that I got. The question is, is it the best? I would say it's probably a keeper. It has one dent over here on this side, which would be your left. I don't see any scuffs. It has a couple little dents over here. And this is just because this leather is so, so soft. And whenever you pull it into this clasp and screw it into it, it's all about how it's gathered. And if they don't gather it right, then you end up with these, these lines like that. So this one's okay. I'm gonna pray that this next one's better. Oh my gosh, <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Oh, it's so much better. This is the one. This is the one. Oh my gosh. She's just, she's good. She's good. Okay, if you look here, there's wrinkling on the side. It's there on my ivory and my taffy as well. This one may be just slightly worse. The back is almost completely smooth, which is awesome. And again, more wrinkling on this side. I'm sort of thinking that maybe the wrinkling is just more noticeable on the black. This is the one I'm sending back. This one is gorgeous. I'm definitely keeping her, so I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap it. There she is in all her glory. The tag looks good. The back has this little dent right here, but I'm not worried about that. This leather is gonna get little dents in it. The thing I didn't want was the great big one right here. A little dimpling is okay with me. And in fact, little wrinkles right there, they may just rub right out. And if they don't, I don't care. This is what I care about with this bag. I'm literally shaking, look at my hands. The strap looks good. Let's make sure that the clips work. You always wanna check this because I have had faulty clips. And it's okay if they stick a little bit at first, they will loosen up, but you don't want them to stay open and not be able to snap back shut. So there she is with her little strap. Let's make sure the big strap's okay. She's looking good, no major issues. She's almost completely naked. It looks great. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and try her on. I'm very casual today. I'm wearing joggers and a camo shirt, but actually that will just show you how you can be super casual with this bag. I love it. Okay guys, I had to pause the video. I was so excited. I was perspiring like crazy. I keep getting all disheveled, but here's the bag. I got it all unwrapped. You can see the flap is in so much better condition than the other one was. And I do have to deal with the hassle of a return now. Let me go just a little slower for you. In my frenzy, I get awfully excited. And then I start to give you a conniption fit because I'm making your head hurt when I spin the bag around that fast. I hear my doorbell ringing. That means my new cell phone is here, which means my camera is going to be so much better on tomorrow's video. Yay! So I wanted this bag because I got it for a really good deal and I have several straps that go with it. So I thought I would show you what I've got. And then if you're looking into getting one of these and happen upon a good deal, you will know what you can use it with at least if you can find what I have or something similar. So my first option is the Strap with Chain by Coach. This typically has a little Rexy dangling from it, which I have removed and hung on the side of a bag as a bag charm. It has very shiny gold hardware, which is not typical of Coach retail. I really wish that they had done the brass hardware, but they didn't. And so it actually goes with more bags because of that. It goes with my Neo Noe by Louis Vuitton because of that, because Louis Vuitton has shiny gold hardware. So we can be grateful for that. Novelty straps are shorter than other straps. So you can tell this is on the longest setting for me and it rides high, but I actually like the pillow tabby up high. So that's one option. If I wanna stay and match brass with brass, then I can use my Marley 20 strap from my patchwork k facet bag and it's got the grommets on it which is just gorgeous i seem to be using that word a lot lately but i do really like the grommets on this strap i just think that they are absolutely gorgeous again with gorgeous i think they're a nice touch an extra added detail and then the last two straps i'd like to show you actually i've got three so this is the 26 and a half inch strap. It says it's 25 inches on Amazon. I've been showing you this on some of my long shot bags and I'm telling you, look how good the hardware looks. It is a perfect, perfect match. The one advantage to using this, it's called Y chain to using this brand over the X I A Z W brand is that this brand has a ring on the end. It's an O spring ring. And this has a clip that's very much like Prada. And I just think that that's daintier and looks a little nicer. But you can see it hangs at a nice drop. So if you were going to wear this bag on the shoulder, I would probably maybe do this longer chain, but I think it works either way. I also have this chain by Yi Chain. And this one is the same as the one I just showed you, but it's a little thinner and it has a smaller clip. Let me show you. So you can see that it's just a little thinner and the clip, the clip is just a little smaller. It still snaps onto the pillow tabby with no problem. This chain only comes in a 42 inch length and that's really too short for crossbody for me for most bags. But for the pillow tabby, I think it works pretty well. And it's also good as a long shoulder bag this way. The last look I'm going to show you, and sorry if I'm looking disheveled, I'm sweating and so my hair is sticking to me. I'm going to go ahead and remove the leather short handle off the pillow tabby. This is the chain by the brand XIAZW that I just showed you. If I'm going to wear this bag crossbody, I would dangle this as a bit of jewelry across the front. I really love that look. And then, if you want to wear it on the shoulder, you can, but you can see it's a little higher up than with the Yi chain. And I kind of like that because it really fits right there. 
you can kind of squeeze it in with your arm. So let me know which of those is your favorite combination. I do want to show you my bag of the day, and that is my Tory Burch Willa in the matte black. Now the hardware on this is so dark that it does not go with any of my chains from Amazon. So I'm limited to this strap that it comes with, which is one size fits all. I think it hits me at a nice place though. And you could go a little higher if you were taller and you definitely could go longer if you're shorter. So they really did find a good middle of the road. One thing I did on this is look, I put shrink tube on and I did that based on someone else's recommendation because it's metal on metal here where it clips. I did it so that over time, I did not get chipping here. I did use it once without the shrink tube and it did not chip, so it may not, but I figured why take the chance? And you can see when it's on there, it's just almost invisible. Hey guys, it's Aaron. This is actually future Aaron. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm gonna do a quick trip outside and show you my puppies, but I'm doing it because I wanna tell you something about my bag of the day which is made of rubber and I will reinforce that whenever you see the future upcoming little segment. Just wanted to introduce that point because otherwise it's going to seem totally random that all of a sudden I'm outside. Okay, bye. We're doing our business. We've got the Chewy. Maisie! No, don't go around the column. Come here, Maisie. Hi, puppy. These are my two little ragamuffins. Hey, Chewy. Hey, Bubba. There he is, there's my puppy. So you see how gloomy it is here? It's rainy. I'm out in the freezing cold weather, but I was sweating my butt off doing that video, so that's why I'm out without a jacket. And I just wanted to show you that this little rubber bag here, this is the ticket. It is made out of polyurethane, which is essentially rubber. And it's perfect for a gloomy day like this because rubber can get wet. So there is an advantage to having at least one rubber bag in your collection. All right, back to regular programming. Bye. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick unboxing of the Pillow Tabby. I'm so glad I found one that works. I wanted to remind you that you can find me on Instagram at, at the handbag housewife, all lowercase. If you like videos like this, please give me a big thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm. Helps even more if you drop a comment below. Don't forget to enter my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I've got some nice Tory Burch and dress up my purse items. I posted a picture on my community page and you just need to go there and drop your Instagram handle as well as a comment about what you like about my channel. Hope you all have a fantastic day and I will talk to you very soon. Thanks for watching, bye.